Every downhill ski binding has a toe and heel piece. The toe usually releases sideways in a fall and the heel releases upward. Today's bindings are made of lightweight materials such as extruded aluminum and fiberglass reinforced plastic. Using 3D software, the research and development team designs the binding along with the molds and dyes used to manufacture the components. The team produces a prototype of each component and uses three-dimensional measuring tools to verify the specifications. Workers paint the visible aluminum and plastic components, then cure them in an oven for 40 minutes. This company produces high-end racing models, as well as less expensive models for beginner to intermediate skiers. This aluminum housing is for the toe piece of a racing binding. They screw on plastic tabs to keep the metal from damaging the plastic ski boot. Then, workers assemble the indicator, which is used to adjust the release setting. They lubricate the ball joint with grease before putting the base in an assembly fixture. Then, they add the toe piece housing and a plastic cap with a white line on the side. As they screw down the cap, it compresses the spring underneath. Next, they mount a heel piece to a base and assemble the internal mechanism. This includes a screw down cap that sets the internal spring to a specific release setting. An automated machine tests each heel and toe piece to make sure the mechanism functions correctly. Next, a metal pin connects the pivoting top of the heel piece to the base. This setting tool locks the pin in its lateral position. Now, workers mount the ski brake to the heel piece. The ski boot maintains pressure on the brake to keep it in the off position. In a ski accident, the fall releases that pressure triggering the brake. After the binding has been adjusted to the length of the ski boot, Workers insert a notching pin that locks the heel piece to the mounting plate of the ski. Finally, workers connect this lever to the notching pin. You simply pull it up and back to disengage the pin and adjust for boot length. Provided the binding is correctly set for the skier's weight, boot size, and skiing ability, these standards ensure the ski boot releases in an accident but doesn't inadvertently release if the skier hits a big bump.